So guys, this is our potentiometer and this is the Arduino Uno. We are getting values from the potentiometer. See, now I rotate it. See the values decrease. I rotate it further, the values further decrease. At the minimum, we get the zero value. And when I rotate it in the other direction, it keeps on increasing, increasing, increasing. And finally, it reaches 1023. Now in the code, you can see that the ADC bit of Arduino Uno, that is 80 mega 328p is 10 bit. So maximum ADC values we can have is from 0 to 1023. Now, what we are doing in the code is that we simply use the analog read command and we are reading from channel 0, A0 and this is the variable which is stored the value and once stored, we display it on the LCD. Simple as that. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can interface a potentiometer or a variable resistor with an Arduino Uno. So let's get started. So guys, this is our Arduino Uno. As you can see, it is easily available in the market. Now guys, on the left, you can see the three pin potentiometer. You can use a blue type as well. There comes in various shapes and sizes. I'm going to use the 10 kilo ohm one. You can also use the other values as well. Only the resistance will differ. The rest will be the same. Like wiring will be the same. Programming with the Arduino will be the same. Now guys, you can see there are the only three pins in this potentiometer. Now I will label them for you. The left pin I label as VCC if you hold it like this. The center one has the ADC pin, this is the variable pin, the right one has a ground pin. Now guys, the adjustable pin is your ADC pin, always remember that. If you choose any other type of potentiometer having three pins, just make sure that the adjustable pin is always the ADC, while VCC and ground, you can shuffle them as well. If you shuffle the VCC to the ground, then what will happen is that like you are rotating the potentiometer in the clockwise direction and the ADC values are increasing. But if you shuffle these two pins, the ground and the VCC, then if you go clockwise, the ADC values will decrease. The rest will remain the same. So guys, uh, now let's connect it with the pick uh, with an Arduino. Now guys, for the VCC pin, connect it directly to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino like this. For the ground pin, connect it to the ground of your Arduino like this. For the ADC pin, you can use any available ADC pin of your Arduino. I'm going to use a pin number A0 like this. Now you only have A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, only 6. ADC pins in 80 mega 328p or Arduino Uno like this. Even uh, Arduino Nano is the same, just an SMD package. Now guys, here our connections are completed. Let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming. So guys, this over here is our hardware. As you can see, this is the Arduino Uno. This is our potentiometer connected in the same way as shown in the presentation. Now let me connect it with the computer. Okay. It's connected with the computer now. You can see that the LEDs are on. So it means it's connected. Now guys, what we can do is that I now go to the Arduino IDE. Here we go. This is our Arduino IDE. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. Now click on file, new sketch. Okay, this window pops up. Just close the previous window. Okay, this is our new sketch over here. Let me maximize the screen. Okay, it's maximized. Now, by default, you have these two commands. You can remove them or keep them, whatever you prefer. Now, before you do anything else, most important thing is to, is to save your work. Press Control S. This window pops up. Write the name of your project. I write Potential Pot Tutorial by LM, Learning Microcontrollers. Okay, this is it. Now, guys, this window is making the new page with Okay, here we go. Now guys, we can start writing our code from here. Now what we do is that first of all, we will need to read the potentiometer. For that, we will use a command called analog read. So I write here analog read, capital R-E-A-D. Now in between this packet, you will write the channel. Now the pin we selected, remember, was A0. So that is it. If you were using A1, you will write A1. If you were using A2, it was to be A2, A3, A4, A5, whatever you are using. Now we will get the value from this command to our microcontroller. But the problem is where to store it. Now to store it, we will need an integer. I take an integer, I just, uh, I say pot value, potentiometer value. That's all. Just copy paste it here. So equals to analog read. So whatever the value will be read from the ADC pin of your Arduino Uno will be stored in this integer. Now, before that, let me give you some description. I write here, remember, Arduino 
uno is based is based on eighty mega three twenty eight p. Okay. Now eighty mega three twenty eight p has ADC of ten bit resolution. So now this means. what this means is that if our adc is 10 bit this means that 2 power 10 equals to 1024 or in other terms from 0 to 1023 total of 1024 so maximum values that we can receive from our uh, to our microcontroller from the adc pin is 0 to 1023 by default now what it means like 0 to 5 volt at adc pin will be 021023 in adc value right now i apply the potentiometer pin connected to a0 once we rotate the potentiometer this voltage will change so this adc value received will also change so it will be from 0 to 5 volt means 0 to 1023 now we display this on the lcd that uh, so on our serial monitor that are we getting the same values so for that we initialize our serial monitor for that write down this command serial dot begin whatever the border you prefer i prefer 9600 just write it here and now here write the command serial dot print ln what we should print whatever the value is stored in this integer like this now just print it on your serial monitor like this now guys i click on upload let's see is there any error so we got an error okay we serial dot print ln we forgot the dot here okay now it's fine that's upload it again okay uploading okay it's done uploaded now let me show you the hardware as well on the side so we can have the taste of both the hardware and the software so now i open the serial monitor as well look on tools serial monitor like this here we go the serial monitor okay it is showing 1023 the maximum value so let me show you the port as well where the port is stationed Okay, this is our potentiometer. Let me bring it near so we can see both, like this. Okay, now this seems way better. Okay, now let me show you the potentiometer. So this is our potentiometer over here, as you can see. So this is the potentiometer. Okay, now I rotate it. See, now it is rotated at maximum. I cannot rotate it further. I go in the opposite direction. See, the values are decreasing. Seven ninety-two. I go further. Six ninety-five. Six zero nine. the values are decreasing further see that see the rotation decreases the values so minimum is zero now it's at minimum it cannot go further i go in the opposite direction see it's increasing 63 64 see the more i rotate the more the values increase at this point it is 364 now it is in the center 512 538 adc value see the maximum we can go is 1023 why because our adc is 10 bit So maximum we can go is 1024, which means 0 to 1023. So that's perfect. So it is working perfectly fine. So guys, you can use this command to make various projects. It's very simple to use. So guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you very much for your time, guys, and have a nice day. We'll see you in the next video.